guys, and welcome to Mystery Gaming, where a game is picked out for me to play, and I have no idea how to play it. Today's game is City of Love. Ooh, what's City of Love? Rendezvous. Wow, Paris is really breathtaking at this time of year. It's unlike anything I've seen in the States. With a little luck, I'll soon be calling this place my home. Is this like an episodes thing? So, are you ready for your big interview? You, Cat, you're late. I'd almost given up on you. <laughs> Catherine, sorry, I had to collect your key. Mikasa is to casa. Two college roomies reunited at last, and in France. You, I know, it's been our wildest freshman dreams. What are you looking forward to most about living in Paris? Having the adventure, the sophisticated culture, the flamboyant fashion, the romantic lovers, and let's go on an adventure. Tap and hold to make a decision. Oh, this is like choices. <laughs> I've never been to Europe and I'm hungry for an adventure. Well, there's never a shortage of those when we're together. But I only get to stay here if I get the job, remember? Oh my gosh, the pressure. City of Love is Paris's most prestigious lifestyle magazine. Oh, come on. Whoever turned you down for a job? Even before you graduated, you got all the best internships. And now, you're an award-winning investigative journalist. I wonder if you'll meet City of Love's founder. Ralph Lauren is Paris's most enigmatic entrepreneur. How will you play it if you get to meet him? <laughs> I'll be totally natural. I'll be ridiculously charming. I'll be darling. No, I'll be darling. And it's like remembering like the things for the future. Like, okay, you said you want an adventure. <laughs> to be respected in my field, you need to show guts and gall. Uh, you need gall to write about the hottest soirees? Journalism is a shark pond, whatever the subject matter. Well, you know best. I just hope you get the job so we can celebrate tonight. What do you say to an evening of ice cream and 90s movies? That's a great idea. We're not in college anymore. No, that's a great idea. <sighs> I'm wondering, like, it's saving these. It's so weird. Great idea, Kat. That will really make me feel at home. The laugh is weird. Catherine liked that. You see, I can still read you like a book. Well, I'd better make a move or I'll miss my interview. City of Love's offices are on the other side of the bridge. Good luck, Rumi. And knock him dead. Okay, City of Love, here I come. City of Love office. That's strange. The place looks deserted. Maybe they're all in a meeting? Next! <gasps> what the? Did you not hear me? Oh, you're having second thoughts. No, of, of course not. I really want to be here. Believe me. And I really want a glass of wine, but who cares? Who is this woman? I'm Louise, chief editor of City of Love. And if you're done gawping like a fish, I will take your name. <gasps> oh, oh, my goodness. Okay. Gabriella. Scorey. <gasps> I'm Gabriella Scori. I'm interviewing for the culture columnist position. This can't be my interview, can it? Okay, Miss Scori, let's start with the HR classic. What makes you a good employee? I'm crazy smart. I'm incredibly loyal. I'm ruthlessly competitive. I'm humble. Oh, I don't know! What makes me a good employee? Um. 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 Like, is I'm ruth ruthlessly competitive, like, a bad thing? Like, she's like, we're all a team here. Like, there's no competition. But that's, like, the one I'm kind of feeling. Because I feel like if, like, I'm, like, I'm humble, she'll be like, we don't need to humble people. We need go-getters. I don't know. I'm going to go with this one. Oh. <gasps> I'm incredibly competitive. It gives my work an extra edge so I never come second place. Did she like that? Oh my god, I am so impressed. Is she mocking me? And I've got... Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I've got sharp acting skills too, see? Wow, that was unnecessary. But let's get down to the nitty gritty. What notable work have you done? I exposed a corporate politician. I busted a smuggling ring. I solved a cold case murder. I saved a celebrity's life. What the heck? What are these... What? what didn't I say I was going for... The culture thing? Expose a corrupt politician, maybe? That seems. 
Maybe? A cold case of murder? I, I don't know. Let's go with politicians, because I think I was doing something with culture. Is she gonna hate that? I outed a presidential candidate on a dodgy tax returns. Bravo, you are an ethical lawyer, you. But moving swiftly on. Okay, so she didn't hate that answer. Everyone I interview dreams of living in Paris. But you need a certain je ne sais quoi to make it here. So tell me, why do you want to work in Paris? Paris is a beautiful city. I want to be famous. I love your magazine. I need a change. I mean, I feel... I don't know! I don't like these answers! I feel like I'm like... The, the what I say is like really good pick. It's like which way the story goes. I guess... Okay, so she said everyone wants to live here. So like Paris is a beautiful city. It's like obviously not the answer she's looking for. And neither is I want to be famous. So I'm torn between I love your magazine or I need a change. I guess let's go with I need a change. <sighs> I need a change. I felt life was passing me back at home. She doesn't look happy. I'm sorry, you must be mistaking me for your therapist. <laughs> I couldn't care less about your pedestrian little life. Louise, come sit in my meetings. I'm onto something big here. Something real big. <gasps> oh, sorry. I didn't realize you were busy. Who is this? Who's this guy? You asked me to interview the American girl, remember? Don't tell me we flew her all the way here for nothing. Oh, Miss Corgi, I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, this is Ralph himself! I am Ralph City of Love's founder and creative director. Your talents are exactly what I need. I have a special task. <gasps> am I hired? Do you mind? You told me to do this interview, so stop putting in. You'll just end up raising her hopes. This has to be part of the interview strategy. I'm going to show them I can keep calm in any situation. Hello. <laughs> okay, Louise, I'll let you be the final judge. But I have a very important question for Miss Scoy. Just get on with it, or we've already ruined my process. Okay, this is where I get too impressed. The big boss is obviously clean on hiring me. As a child, were you good at treasure hunts? Uh, what kind of question is that? I'm a champ treasure hunter. I never liked treasure hunts. I mean, like, TVH, I always love doing treasure hunts, so <laughs> let's go with that. Because I feel like you have to be, like, you have to follow the leads like it's a treasure hunt. I always came first in treasure hunts. Okay, what kind of answer is that, though? That's probably why I got so good at investigating. That's exactly what I hoped you'd say. Oh, good! I have a feeling you will be perfect for the job. Louise, come with... Louise, come into my office once you're done here. And Mrs. Scoy, get ready for the excitement of your life. <gasps> you might have a rough food, but I did not miss a trick. What brings me to my favorite part of the interview? What's your biggest weakness? You've obviously got a few. Oh, I'm easily distracted. I'm a terrible procrastinator. I'm a rageaholic. Um, I'm a perfectionist. That is setting me up for failure! Because I don't want to say any of these. Ugh, this is horrible. Because I'm, I'm a perfectionist. Like, But if I say I'm easily distracted, that doesn't show good journalism. But if I say I'm a terrible procrastinator, that doesn't show anything good either. And I don't say I'm a rageaholic. Like, who admits that they have a rage problem? I'm a perfectionist. Oh, no. She'll, like, hate me. Uh, I don't know. Which one do I go with? Which one do I go with? Oh, these are all horrible. Oh. I don't know. This is too hard. I don't like how I make this many choices. Um. Maybe. No, I don't know. I don't know. What do you do? I guess. Because I'm afraid to say rageaholic. Because, like, maybe she'll think I'm, like, being sarcastic. But then, like. I don't want to be like, we have no time for that. Goodbye. But if I'm like a perfectionist, she's going to hate me. She already hates me. Oh, this is too much. Let's just go with. Um. Okay, let's just go with Rachel Hollick. <laughs> I get really and oh my gosh, that's not what I meant. I meant like I was like a goat. Like if I like someone was like a 
giving me answers. I'm like, I need those answers. I don't mean that they can't criticize my work. Ugh. I get really angry if anyone criticizes my work. And nobody gets off my grudge list and tag. Oh my gosh, fascinating. I'm so happy you shared that. Well, that concludes the interview. Thank you for your time. Ugh, that was horrible. Alrighty, don't you have any more questions? No more questions, please. Oh, of course. Can you find the exit by yourself? Wow, that was surreal. What the heck? Oh, I messed everything up with that stupid question. All right, you guys, and this is obviously gonna go on for a very long time and be very in depth, so I think we're gonna call it a quits here. If you wanna see more of this video, give this video a thumbs up, and maybe if it gets enough thumbs up, we'll continue it as a series on 4Kids Gaming, but I don't know. What do you guys wanna do? <laughs> if you have a game you want me to play, leave it down below in the comments. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys later. Bye!